Hello students, welcome back again. In this video, we are discussing one of the example based on discrete probability distribution. Okay. So look at here, find the value of k such that the following distribution represents a finite probability distribution and hence find mean and standard deviation. Also find out probability of x less than or equal to 1, probability of x greater than 1 and probability of x lies between minus 1 and so it's very simple example students. So now let us solve step by step. So first we need to find out the value of k. So we need to find out the value of k for that. So what you need to do is we need to use the definition definition or condition of a discrete probability distribution. So what is the condition of a discrete probability distribution students? You know first condition is probability of uh, each random variables it should be a, uh, greater than or equal to zero and uh, the second condition is most important for us which is uh, sum of all probabilities with uh, different random variables should be equal to 1 for all x, x i, i is equal to 1. So definitely first condition it will be satisfied if the value of k is greater than or equal to 0. So now let us verify the second condition. The second condition is summation of p of x is equal to 1. So here p of x is, so let us take sum of all p of x is k, k, k plus 2k plus 3k plus 4k plus 3k plus 2k plus k is equal to 1. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, okay. You add all these, k plus 2k, 3k, 3k, 6k, 6k plus 4k, 10k, 10k plus 13k, 14, 15, 16k is equal to 1. So this is 16k is equal to 1, therefore k is equal to 1 by 16. So k is equal to 1 by 16. Now let us write once again this probability distribution. Let me write. So this is x. x takes the value minus 3. Minus 3. Minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and write the value of k. k is equal to this is p of x. p of x is equal to which is 1 by 16. 2 into 1 by 16 is 2 by 16. Uh, 3 into k is 3 by 16. For 0, 4 k, 4 is 4 by 16. And uh, as usual, 3 by 16. Uh, 2 by 16 and 1 by 16. Just substitute the value of k here, you will get this value. So, after getting this, so let us find out a mean student. So, what is mean? Mu. Mu is equal to, we already aware that mean of a discrete is x into p of x. So, x into p of x or xi into p of xi. Okay, just multiply this is equal to, to multiply this. So, this is uh, minus 3 into 1 by 16, okay, plus minus 2 into 2 by 16, but next plus minus 3 into 3 by 16 plus 0 into 4 by 16 uh, plus bracket here plus 1 into 1 into 3 by 16 again plus uh, 2 into 2 by 16 plus 3 into 1 by 
So now by adding all these, you will get zero. Just you can verify yourself. Some zero. Now let me find out a variance. So variance v is equal to is summation of x minus mu whole square into p of x. Okay. Fine. Now it is also same as x minus mu. X minus mu. Mu value is already zero. X takes the value minus three. Okay, minus three minus zero whole square. Minus three minus zero whole square is which is nine. Nine into p of x. Nine into p of x is one by sixteen. First value one by sixteen. Similarly, plus minus two minus zero whole square is again four into four into two by sixteen plus. Minus one minus zero whole square one into three by sixteen plus zero into four by sixteen uh, plus again this will become one square one square is again one into three by sixteen uh, two square is four into two by sixteen plus this is three square. <coughs> Three square is nine. Nine into one by. 16. So now by adding all these things, get just you can verify here one by sixteen is common and observe what is remaining here nine. Four two is eight. One is a three plus zero plus three plus eight plus nine. So nine plus eight plus three nine uh, plus eight seventeen twenty twenty again this is twenty twenty by sixteen so twenty plus twenty that is forty forty by sixteen is just which is five by two now in the next slide students we need to find out probability of x less than or equal to one first I will write then I will come back here. I need to find out third one is probability of x value is less than or equal to one. Let me go back. X value is less than or equal to one. Less than or equal to one means how many values it will take. So x less than or equal to one means now it it consider p of minus two, p of minus three, p of minus two, p of minus one. P of zero and P of one. These five values we are going to consider. So in the next one, just look at. So this is it containing probability of. You can also take x takes the value minus three. Probability of x takes the value minus two. Probability of x takes the value minus one. Probability of x takes the value zero plus probability of x takes the value represent x less than or equal to one. So we are going to use the values and by adding just to minus three. What is minus three value? Just go back and observe. So let us take these values: one by sixteen, two by sixteen, three by sixteen, four by sixteen, and three by sixteen. So now this is. Uh, Uh, one by sixteen plus two by sixteen plus three by sixteen plus uh, next value is uh, zero, <coughs> not zero. Just look at go back. Value is four uh, by sixteen. Okay. Is four uh, by sixteen plus last value is. Uh, again, which is one by sixteen. Just count. The denominator is sixteen. One plus two plus three. This is uh, totally one or two. Just let us verify again. Uh, by sixteen or this is three uh, by sixteen. Sorry. So this will become 
3 by 16, therefore total become this is 13 by 16. So next we are going for finding the value of probability of x greater than 1. x greater than 1, just go back and observe the table x value is greater than 1 greater than 1 means it does not include 1 it includes 2 and 3 2 and 3 it includes 2 and 3 therefore this will become probability of x takes the value 2 and probability of x takes the value 3 so what are the values for x equal to 2 and x equal to 3 for x equal to 2 is which is uh, 2 by 16 you can observe the table you will come to know again this is 1 by 16 by adding you will get 3 by 16. Finally I am going for probability of uh, x lies between minus 1 and less than or equal to 2 minus 1 and less than or equal to 2 go back and observe minus 1 is not included because it is less than symbol okay is not included so now it includes 0, 1 and 2. For 0 which is 4 by 16, for 1 which is 3 by 16, for 2 which is 2 by 16. Total answer is 9 by 16. Okay. So it, it, it takes the value 0, 1 and 2. It takes the value probability of x equal to 0, probability of x equal to 1 and probability of x equal to 2 which is 4 by 16, 3 by 16 plus 2 by 16. This is 9 by 16. The answer. Thank you so much for watching. We will meet in the next video, student.